so good afternoon all in the today's lab experiment of biomedical signal processing lab the aim is to perform signal generation basic signal operation sampling theorem and convolution so let's start with the signal processing a signal is a function of one or more variable that indicates physical phenomena it can also be defined as a physical quantity that varies with time temperature pressure or with any independent variable such as speech signal or video signal the process of operation in which the characteristics of a signal such as amplitude shape phase frequency etc undergoes a change is known as signal processing the purpose of signal processing is to clean up signals removing unwanted noise and extracted impo important information types of signal continuous time and discrete time signal second is analog and digital signal third is periodic and aperiodic signal fourth is even and odd signal fifth is energy and power signal sixth is dist deterministic and random signals next continue with the continuous time signal a continuous time signal is a type of signal that is defined for every instant of time it varies smoothly and continuously over time without any interruption it represents a data with a higher resolution it is represented as x of t where t is a continuous time variable here the example of the continuous time signals are sound waves and electrical signals next are discrete time signals a discrete time signal is a type of signal that is defined only at separate points in time discrete time signals are often obtained by sampling continuous time signals at regular intervals it can be represented as x of n where n is a integer in discrete time examples are audio digital audio signals next are different type of waveforms that are rare which are cosine waveforms sine waveform sinc function rectangular impulse unit impulse unit step and signal function which are being performed in today's lab experiment here are how this waveform looks like cosine followed by sine then sinc function rectangular waveform unit impulse unit step signum and then exponential waveform here are some of the basic operations on signals first time shifting in this the signal is either delayed or advanced along the time axis second is time scaling in this the signal is either compressed or expanded along the time axis in this time time is either divided or multiplied in time reversal in this the signal is reversed along with the y axis it is represented by y is equal to x of minus t next is the sampling theorem the sampling theorem specifies that the minimum sampling rate at which a continuous time signal need to be uniformly sampled so that the sample can complete can completely reconstruct the original signal the principle behind the sampling theorem is nyquist criteria the nyquist criteria is that sampling signal frequency f of s should be double the input signals highest frequency f of m to get a distortionless signal f of s is equal to twice of f of m is the expression in the upscaling the sample rate increase in downscaling the sample rate decrease here is the convolution convolution is a mathematical operation used to express the relation between the input and output of a linear time invariant system lti system it represents the input output and impulse response of an lti system here how the discrete convolution system looks like in which a input is being given xn followed which is passed to the lti system h of n and the output will be like x of n convolved with h of n here is a figure next are the noise noise refers to the unwanted disturbances and variations in a signal that can alter the true information some common type of noises which are present in bio medical signal processing are motion artifact power line interface baseline drift impulsive response that's some references for the today's presentation thank you